My name's Tom Seeger. I'm in this ice water to symbolize the story of my personal transformation. I used to live a sedentary life of obesity and disease, and now I've got a new life of health and wellness. And I want to explain to you why my friend Jason Stauffer and I founded a new company called Morales Co. Forge. Thirteen years ago, I weighed almost 250 pounds. I used to struggle to carry my daughter on my shoulders, and like a lot of dads, I was focused on raising my family and building my career. I didn't think I had time to take care of myself. I was always tired. I was ashamed of my body. As my kids got older, I couldn't keep up with them. They were swimming, they were playing ball, they were active, they work out. Finally, I decided I wanted to do something about it. I asked my daughter to write out some of the exercises that she learned for her softball team. And so she wrote up about a half a dozen and she called it the Fat Daddy Workout in the most loving way. So I started working out about three times a week. I started skipping lunch, dieting. I wanted to get myself in shape. But by this time I was fighting something that people sometimes called old age. Still, five years ago, I was down to about 210. My kids were proud of me. I was proud of me. I was starting to feel all right about myself again. And then I read a book that changed my life. It was Scott Carney's account of Wim Hof the crazy Dutchman, you might have heard of him, he holds dozens of world records for cold exposure and for endurance. And Carney subjected Hoff to some scientific experiments. He injected him with endotoxins to see how his immune system would respond. He measured his cardiovascular system. And what Carney discovered is that Hoff had a miraculous ability to withstand stresses that would kill normal human beings. Hoff said that his apparent superpowers were from his regimen of ice baths and meditation and hyperventilation. So just to be sure, Carney tested Hoff's twin brother, just to make sure there wasn't some kind of genetic freak of nature. And sure enough, Hoff and his brother responded to stress differently. Since then, the science of cold exposure has advanced to the point where we have confidence that there are a myriad of health benefits, and I realized that Carney was right. What was killing me was the comfortable lifestyle I designed for myself that I thought was good for me. Our chairs, our couches, our cars, everything that is designed, our climate-controlled environments that are designed to keep us comfortable are actually robbing our bodies of the kinds of stress we need to stay strong. Jason and I started taking ice baths in the backyard, and it hurt. It was painful, but it was also exhilarating. But we got frustrated with the hassle of hauling 300 pounds of ice from the grocery store to the backyard and then watching it all melt in the Phoenix sun. So we built our own refrigerated tub out of spare parts and lumber. We invited some friends over to help us try it out, and we had a big party. Next thing you know, our friends are saying, could we build them an ice bath too? So we set up a workshop and we started figuring out how to make something we'd be proud for our friends to have. We called it Morozco Forge. The name is symbolic of the way that we can use cold exposure to forge our minds and reforge our bodies and reforge our health. Now we're in business. We've sold to technology entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley. We've sold to medical doctors, to housewives, to elite athletes, and to regular guys like me just trying to do a better job taking care of themselves. I weigh about 195 pounds now. I'm not some kind of Instagram model. I'm not ripped. And now that we've started a business and I still have my full-time job teaching engineering, I don't have the time to work out three times a week. I barely get one workout a week. But my blood work, is better than most guys half my age.